All right, this video is for anybody that's thinking about getting into restoring axes. Uh, it's it's going to be a very simple restoration with very basic hand tools. So this is a five dollar yard sale axe. Uh, the lady actually tried to give it to me for free, and I I insisted on giving a couple bucks to her. So uh, it's got some it's got some bad rust on one side, other side's not bad. The head's a little loose. And the handle's pretty nasty. It's a uh, Woodings in Verona. Still has the original handle. If you can see, it says Woodings in Verona. Um, it's a US 96. It's a boy's axe head on an 18 and a half inch handle. So this is, this is considered a house axe. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is sand down the head. So I want to get this head cleaned up before I clean up the handle because if I get the handle cleaned up real nice and pretty uh, and then I start sanding on this head, the rust and the oil are going to stain the handle and then I'll have to re-sand the handle. So first step we're going to do is clean up the head. I'm going to start by clamping the handle to the workbench. I'll put a piece of leather. Uh, you could use a little piece of wood or, or, or something soft um, so that the clamp doesn't leave a tool mark on the handle. We got most of the big rust removed. Now we're going to take some 120 grit sandpaper and sand it down until, until we're happy. If you want to keep going all the way to bare metal to where it shines, you can do that with sandpaper. Um, I like to leave some patina. If there's a little paint, it looks like there's still some paint on this side. Um, I like to leave a little bit of that. I do like a clean uh, bit all the way up to uh, up into the cheeks. And I, I believe that a good, clean, smooth bit does help with chopping. If you've got rough spots and dirt on here, rust or, or sap, uh, it'll slow it down in the cut. So we'll take a rag with some WD-40 on it. And clean that up a little bit and give you a, give you an idea of what you're working with. We'll just repeat these same steps all over the axe, on the top of the head, on the pole, and on the bottom, and of course, the backside. So we got some rust knocked off of it. We got some oil on it. Our next step is to address this loose head. So the sky's the limit. You could put a new handle on it. You could simply pound this wedge down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna sand the handle back a little bit so that the head will drop down further and then we'll pound the wood wedge and the metal edge in further. So I'll take a piece of sandpaper and I'll fold it in half and then I'll fold it in half again. That'll give me this edge to use right in here. So we've got the head cleaned up a little bit. We've got a little bit of oil on it. We've sanded down the handle to allow the head to go further down the handle. So the next step is to turn the ax upside down. Take a hammer that is not a metal hammer. I have this little plastic and rubber mallet. And give some good, good strikes on the bottom of the handle. As we can see, we came up about an eighth of an inch. The handle's seated nicely in the bottom of the eye. Next step, I'll use a blunt chisel to hammer the wooden wedge that goes down the center of the eye 
further into the handle. Now we'll use a metal hammer to drive the metal wedge further down the handle. It's not the prettiest eye, but it's functional. Now we're gonna clean up this handle with some sandpaper and get this grime off of here and then put some oil on it. I'll start by clamping the ax head back to the workbench. If you have a vise, it certainly makes this process, certainly makes this process easier. I take a one inch strip of 120 sandpaper and just go back and forth, side to side. All right, so we got it out of the clamp and there's a couple little spots that I missed, a uh, little bit of lacquer left on it still. So now's a good time to, to take a little piece of sandpaper and clean up some of those spots that you may have missed. While you're in the clamp, while it's still in the clamp, if you wanna thin the handle out, if you wanna put more of a curve into it, that's a good time while it's still clamped down with your long strip of paper, long strip of sandpaper, to just work those spots more. And, and it may take a little bit of time, but if you wanted to thin out the entire profile, you could spend an hour and just really thin this handle down. Um, I like the way this one grips, uh, so I'm gonna leave it as is. I'll just clean up a couple little spots. So I keep my raw linseed oil in this little thumb pump oil can. Um, I see a lot of people just taking the linseed oil and dumping it on the handle. It gets all over the place. That drives me crazy. Um, so I'll just take and put a few drops on it. And take an old rag. Just wipe it in. I think this is my favorite part. The, getting to see the, the character of the wood. Now we're going to soak the eye with linseed oil. So this will help the wood swell back up and make a firm fit in there. And it will also protect the wood from absorbing any more moisture. So we got our head cleaned up. We got some rust off of it. We got some oil on it. We tightened up the eye so that the head is firm in the handle. We got the handle cleaned up. It's turning out real nice. So the next step that we have to do is clamp this back down to the workbench and put a file on it to sharpen the blade. So I'm not going to go in depth into sharpening a bit. Um, what I will say is 
is, you know, take a file, put a file on it, and try to match, replicate the existing profile of the bit. Um, a file will get this as sharp as you need to chop wood. It'll do, it'll do everything you need. If you want it razor sharp, then, then you can move on to a, a stone, um, sandpaper, whatever you want to do. But what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just going to put a, a, a real basic edge on it and get it good enough to chop wood. So just take your time on this step. Do your research. <clears throat> There's lots of information out there on how to sharpen an edge. Take your time. If you go too far, it takes a lot of work to get your geometry back to where you want to be. All right, there we have it. The Woodings in Verona house axe all cleaned up. So this will make a good user. It'll chop wood. It's not going to shave hair on your arm. Um, but for, for a $5 yard sale axe, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave, a, leave a question in the comment. I'll get back to you. And, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.